Okay, I've just been joined by James Wilkinson, who's taken victory this evening in the BMC Grand Prix men's 3000 meter steeplechase in 8.53. So congratulations on your run today, James. Just your thoughts on how it went? Um, yeah, it went quite well. I got the win in the end, but um, I've got to say I wanted a bit faster. I ran 53, but two seconds off the PB, I thought there was a bit more there all the way. Um, I wanted. I thought that I could run in the 40s. If I ran best, I could run in the 30s. But okay. with missing a couple of guys, like Luke Gunn went to Hengelo. I got paced by Mike Buckingham, who obviously would be in there. Stuart Stokes didn't run, so sure. there were still good guys there. But it, it, when we want, we want more guys, and I run better when there are more sure. guys there. But as you, you said, just set off camera, it's the first one of the season. So based upon that, I know, yeah. compared to last year, I don't think you broke nine by this time last year, and you went on to run 8:51. Yeah. So I suppose it bodes well. Is it sort of the Commonwealth you're shooting for? So those yeah, low no, 840s. Yeah, the Commonwealth is the main thing. So 8:39 is the time. Let's start. Definitely one. Um, I'm doing the next one at Watford in two weeks, and then we've got the senior free A's coming up. Um, yeah, that's the main thing. I think I did nine, basically nine dead here last year, just yeah. missed the Euro time. So, so seven seconds ahead of it. Miles faster than last year, and yeah. then, yeah, I did Loughborough last week. I think there was more there. I think there's more here again, but okay. this week was just a bit annoying. I mean, I think I lost concentration and they got away. Uh, and. Yeah. Well, I was going to just better. talk about the race because for those who don't know, it was returning to Stephen Murphy, who's been out yeah. for years, and he brave move with 1200 to go, took it out. Were you always confident he perhaps may come back, or did you think you were running from second place there on in? Or? Um, we got away, as you say, at about three laps to go. Um, I wasn't really. I think I lost concentration there. He got five, ten metres, something like that, and then it just stabilised at that. Um, he took a bad water jump with six to go and my coach was there at the water jump saying oh he's getting tired and I was tired, we all were but I think there was more there um, and then with two to go I thought he was a lot closer and a warm water jump and a hurdle left I thought yeah, we might get him here um, I th I w someone shouted think back to the Euros or something to me okay. which, which helped, <laughs> helped a little bit but sure. I don't think yeah he, just, he was tired, I was running a little bit faster I think It'd be great to get him into these championships and get us in, no, get us to Watford again. Because I didn't expect, I knew he was running, but I didn't know it was what he was going to be at. Someone did say that he think, they thought he was 8.50, so sure. it's brilliant that he is. I was going to say, what's your thoughts on the men's sort of steeplechase scene? Because I know it was last year, you know, there was Lemon Shallows moved away, Mays moved away, yeah. Bowden's moved away. Luke Gunn's still there, we're not sure what sort of shape he's in, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be getting close back to his best. Yeah. After him then, there's sort of the clutch of guys such as yourself, Stephen Murphy's back yeah. in, stateside, Lisco, Mullet, things like that. What's yeah. your thoughts on us getting a lot like we did have before, say, with the Mays and the Bowden, yeah. those guys all around about 8 and pushing on, on down under there. Well, I think the Commonwealth does this every year. Every time, every four years it comes around. Um, last time we had, did we have Stokes, Bowden and Gunny went I to think so, yeah. Melbourne, yeah. Um, and then, obviously, Olympic year we had the four that went fast at Solihull. So, I think every couple of years, we had a lull last year probably, and then we're just getting back, I think. Okay. Like, I think we are getting going again. Good, good. I hope so, anyway. I was going to say, well, you're definitely obviously at the forefront tonight taking victory, so... Who wants his interview in a minute anyway? So thanks very much for talking to you, James, and congrats on your run, mate. Cheers.